Time for another mod to the Lance 2075. Today, we're dealing with a storage tray issue. The solution coming right up right here on Idaho Voyager. One of the things we love about our Lance 2075 is all the great storage. One of the coolest parts of that storage is the pull-out storage tray at the front. It's a great concept. You don't have to reach in to grab those hard to reach items. You just pull out the tray and in theory, it's amazing, but there is one issue that's been a problem. The tray, which is plastic, although plenty sturdy enough, bows in a little when under load. And as a result, the sides tend to come off these rollers here. It's really annoying and impacts the ease with which I can pull and retract the tray. So time for a fix. The tray needs to be reinforced. So I took a sturdy two by three piece of wood and cut two pieces, each 21 and a half inches long. This is long enough to create some tension and spread out the tray, just the perfect length to fit nice and tight and snug, which is exactly what you want. The wood I purchased at Home Depot was rough, so I sanded it down a bit and shot it with some black spray paint. I didn't quite love the finish, so I added a coat of semi-gloss on top of that with a brush just to make it look nice and help keep it clean. The next step is to put these dividers in place. The tension would probably be enough to hold them in place, but to be extra secure, I fastened them to the tray with one screw on each side. The only downside here is having the dividers eliminated the ability to slide anything along the full length of the tray. I found that that's a small trade-off, and at least for me, is not that big a deal. One final touch is adding some washers to the rollers. This moves each roller in just a smidge, ensuring that that darn tray will never again come off the rollers between the reinforcement of the dividers and moving those rollers in a little bit, I'm pretty sure this thing will now work very, very smoothly and never again, as I mentioned, come off those rollers. So there it is, pretty close to perfect. And I'm absolutely certain this is the way Lance envisioned this tray to work. If anyone in the product and development area of Lance is watching, please take note. This is an issue that has popped up on several owners forums for the 2075. Yes, Lancaster, I'm talking to you. All right, that's it. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching right here on Idaho Voyager, and we'll see you next time.